Hey plant gang, I'm here to talk about a juga repitans or creeping bugleweed or just bugleweed. And that's what we're looking at right here on the edge. And as you can see, this has made a carpet of ground cover here on the edge. And this is really thriving here in this partially shaded situation. I believe that this gets some, it gets some morning sun, uh, but a little bit of afternoon shade, which makes this a great situation for a juga. Now here, when I'm recording this video at the beginning of July, uh, the blooms have faded. Uh, but in the spring, very early spring, this was a complete carpet of blue flowers that were held just right above uh, the foliage of this plant. We're looking at a darker leaved variety. Uh, a juga, of course, uh, if you were to find it, uh, in some cases has just got regular green foliage, but most of the popular uh, varieties that are sold in the market have this kind of darker foliage to it. One thing that's cool about ajuga, it also can handle a little bit drier shade situation. It can handle being planted under a tree where grass won't grow. Makes this nice dense mat of a ground cover, a beautiful spring bloomer, and a ground cover that should really be uh, thought of as uh, one of the great ground covers uh, to add to the home landscape. A juga repitans bugleweed, uh, this rosette forming ground cover that becomes quite dense. And the one thing about a juga that I like is that it's not an overly aggressive spreader. Some ground covers you plant are very hard to control. If a juga got out of bounds, you can easily pull it up. It does not get too aggressive. Hardy from zones four through eight. A lot of different foliage colors, even different flower colors that range white, pink, mostly purple. Uh, again, hardy from zones four through eight. Uh, if it does get in standing water, it can get a little bit of uh, crown rot on it, which can be a problem, but not typically something that you see. Here's a landscape tip. Good flowering ground cover for shady conditions. Can spread rapidly to create dense mat that will suppress weed growth. Hey, I just wanted to do a quick update on Ajuga repitans. Of course, when we originally shot the video, not in full bloom, uh, but here we are in full bloom, a beautiful, just purpley blooms. Uh, if I walk around the gardens, I'll also see ones with white blooms, uh, but man, a great blooming, low growing ground cover for a variety of situations in the landscape.